Once you begin shopping in the entry to mid-level luxury price range, the watch market is awash with quality dive pieces. If anything, it's one of the most competitive categories in the industry, as almost every brand offers a flagship diver that's worth your consideration. Of course, there have to be pieces that stand apart from the crowd and distinguish themselves as cut above the rest. Is the Omega Seamaster 300 one such watch? There's only one way of knowing. Let's dive in. From first glance, the Seamaster 300 dazzles you with its old school cool. Whether it be the watch's sandblasted black dial or its vintage colored triangular shaped indices, you're immediately struck by just how classic it looks. Based on the original Seamaster 300 from 1957, Omega's very first professional diver, it's a piece that pairs the spirit of the 50s with modern materials and technologies. Accordingly, Omega has built the watch using a nice round 41 mm case with a generous, unprotected crown, straight lugs, as well as a color-matched ceramic bezel insert and stainless steel inner ring. A retro diver made for the 21st century then, it stays true to the original whilst bringing a couple of notable updates. In short, the Seamaster 300 is a watch that had us believing we were an early pioneer of the deep. The Seamaster 300 measures a comfortable 41 millimeters across, and its symmetrical design means that it sits quite nicely on the wrist. So, even though it's a hefty 14.65 millimeters thick and 21 millimeters between the lugs, none of our testers found that it made for an especially big or bulky wear. In fact, even those with smaller six and a quarter inch wrists were able to dial in their fit without the lugs extending over the edge of their arm. Regardless of your wrist size then, chances are pretty good that the Seamaster 300 will work for you. Not bad for a watch that offers a full 300 meters of water resistance. As far as construction is concerned, the Seamaster 300 is absolutely top notch. Made from a robust stainless steel, its case is largely brushed but features some sharp mirror polished beveling that extends down the sharp lugs. Though this gives the watch a touch of flash, it's far from a blingy piece. Rather, with its understated bezel and chunky three link bracelet, it's very much in line with the tool watch aesthetic. And, because Omega opted for a ceramic bezel insert with liquid metal markings on the bezel, the Seamaster 300 will retain its brilliant finish over the entirety of its wear life. Tracking 60 minutes in symmetrical 10 minute intervals with none of the usual hashing between zero and 15, it's a piece that's both functional and beautiful. In keeping with the vintage reference CK2913, Omega Seamaster 300 features a flat sandwich dial composed of two plates. The top layer is black and sandblasted with a grainy texture to provide for some contrast. It also comes with machined cutouts for the indices. Beneath the outer dial, however, Omega has given the watch a faux tinted bottom layer. Painted in a vintage colored Super Luminova Lume makes for an eye-catching stenciled effect that recalls the recessed radium markers of the original. From a functionality standpoint, it also ensures that the watch shines very brightly highly legible whether underwater or on land. Elsewhere on the dial, you'll find a broad arrow handset that keeps with the classic vibe. While it's undeniably handsome from a visual standpoint, it's also a highly functional part of the watch. That's because, along with painting the hour and second hands in a blue emitting loom, Omega has also given the minute hand and bezel pip a green emitting treatment. In practice, this means that they're super easy to distinguish from the rest of the watch a welcome feature for anyone who actually plans on taking the Seamaster for a dive. Enclosed in a scratch-resistant, domed sapphire crystal and adorned with a central balanced text layout and some Arabic markers at each quarter hour, the date-free dial is a piece that makes the Seamaster 300 a true modern classic. Though some may take issue with the neo-retro look, we can certainly appreciate Omega's execution. If you like your bracelets on the hefty side, then the Seamaster 300's three-link beast is sure to be right up your alley. However, if your wrists are on the slight side, then you may find that this bracelet is a bit too heavy and chunky, and you may be better off swapping it out for a NATO strap to lighten the load and improve the fit. Moreover, some diving purists may find the polished center links a little out of place on a tool watch, but you really can't argue with their beauty. With that being said, there's no denying that the bracelet is an impressive piece of engineering. Solidly built with a three-link design, it boasts one of the most robust clasps we've had the privilege of testing. And here's the thing, because it comes with a micro quick adjust mechanism, 
you can quickly and easily size the bracelet on the fly to adjust to your changing wrist size throughout the day, a feature we wish all watch bracelets possessed. Arguably one of the most impressive features of the Seamaster 300 is the movement. For even despite the watch's retro appearance, the 8400 caliber automatic movement is absolutely state of the art. Fitted with two barrels and a silicon balance spring, it's made only better by Omega's exclusive coaxial escapement. Equipped for improved precision, stability, and durability, the watch even comes resistant to magnetic fields up to 15,000 gauss. In other words, the 8400 is a movement that's built to withstand the rigors of regular tool watch wear and modern daily living, allowing you to spend less time servicing it and more time diving. And that's not all. Because the Seamaster 300 comes with two barrels mounted in series, as well as free sprung balance, it winds in both directions. Accordingly, it's super easy to keep it ticking away at full power with a generous reserve of some 60 hours. All readily viewable through the Sapphire Exhibition Cape Spack, the bridge's oscillating weights come decorated with some stunning Omega-exclusive arabesque Geneva waves. Made with some 39 jewels, it's certainly a piece that gives you the most movement for your money. With its cutting edge componentry and charming vintage appeal, the Seamaster 300 is a piece that's fit for even the most discerning of dive watch enthusiasts. Initially, it wows you with its old school looks, and it only continues to impress with its capable movement and comfortable on wrist presence. Much more than a retro reissue then, the Seamaster 300 proves a timepiece that's incredibly competitive, even in today's overcrowded dive watch segment. If you're after an option that's well steeped with horological heritage, this is one watch that won't disappoint.